Hey guys, it's Doc and uh, we're doing two days of testing today on the big wave mat. I'm going to show you day number one and then I'm going to do day number two. So hold on one sec. Hey guys, so day number one, we set up a mini sluice and we just basically wanted to look at wave patterns inside of it. We ran some fine gold through it. I'm going to show you that. The biggest thing that I'm seeing though in that mini sluice is, is it's really hard to get the water to settle. Plus the slurry viscosity, there is no slurry viscosity. We're running clear water through it. When you up your slurry viscosity, that's when water settles down. So on day two, which is today, we're actually running slurry, heavy, thick slurry. So you're gonna see day one, I'll run real quick, and then we'll go to day two. Hey guys, so I'm over in the warehouse, and today we're gonna to talk the difference between the big wave mat and the small wave mat, and I'm gonna show you the difference, so hold on. Okay, so uh, let me grab, I'm gonna grab the big wave mat and the little wave mat and put them side by side. So you can see the profile difference. Here's the profile difference. This is the small wave mat, which has a flat area, flat area, and the hump in the middle. This is the big wave mat, and the big wave mat needs another mat over here to actually keep it smooth. So you need a smooth area, wave, smooth area. This does it on its own. So probably a UR or a mother load mat would work well. For the heck of it, I said, well, let's put this mat in combination with this mat. Um, the only issue I'm seeing is we're running this in a small sluice, and this is creating energy before this hump. So I'm getting a little of, uh, not, I'm going to call it rooster tail, but I want to see it run smoother. And I think if I were to put mother load or UR mat here, then go here, I think it would perform a lot better. Plus, one of the issues that we're having is that we're running inside of a real narrow sluice, so it's not like a Raptor Flare. I can't get my water to really smooth out. We're having trouble smoothing out the water, just so you know when you watch this video. This is a huge mat. This is our most expensive. This is our biggest, heaviest mat. As an example, the UR mat weighs 2.5 pounds. This thing, what did I say? Five pounds? Five, seven? 5.5 5 pounds. pounds. This thing weighs 5.5 pounds. The UR mat weighs 2.5 pounds. It is a big, heavy mat. It is a massive amount of rubber compared to this mat. So you can see the two of them. I'll put the uh, two of them side by side. And there's the big wave mat. And there's the little wave mat. Standard wave mat. So we're going to go outside. We're going to show you how it looks running. All right, so this is going to be quick because what I've got is I've got this little mini set up and I'm going to be losing a lot of water on it because it was 24 degrees last night, so we're trying to be fast with this. So what I've got is I've got a little one and a half uh, Honda WX15 coming into the header box here. Um, we're having to put a mat here because we've got a bunch of turbulence here, but go ahead and start it, Mike, and let's see what she looks like to start up. big wave mat right here. There's the small wave mat. So I think it would be better to run this. I'm just guessing. I don't really know because we're not running. We really want to run this in a wide sluice. Alright Doug, why don't you feed some in? Who's going to feed some material in? We've got all kinds of crap in there. Sucking air. All right, so we just shut her down. Good lord, look at all that. That's not sand, most of that's gold. Big piece of gold sitting right there. 
lots of gold up under here. I think what we'll do is we'll just drain this mat a little bit and take a look at it. Okay, so let me show you what we got going on here. So this, on the Mini, it has a little flap that sits here and it pulls the water back here. But you can see, there actually is in that pool, there's actually a nugget sitting right there. So, and that's what we end up seeing. We end up seeing a lot of nuggets. If we're gonna have nuggets, it's gonna be back behind that pool. This mat is gonna be fairly bare. And now you can see this right here. So this is the first big wave mat. And what you can see is those are little pieces of lead shot. Then you've got gold gold lead shot this is the small wave mat and then you come down to the big wave mat and you've got lead shot over here and you've got gold over here and then we come down to this last wave mat let's take this little flapper off and i'm seeing but you can see that on this wave mat right here i have a lot less gold than i've got up here at the top Again, this is a mat that just simply opens up the slurry. It's not a high capture aggressive mat. All it does is it opens up that slurry without flow interruption and allows the material to spread out a lot. And it just uses the water speed. So there's, there's that first mat. And you can see gold, you can see lead shot. See lead shot, lead shot. Come down to the regular washer, regular wave mat. I keep calling it washer mat. A little flat piece over here, like paper. And then when I hit here, same thing. Look at the little tiny fines up in here. Little fines, little fines. It's actually not bad looking mat because I've got a little bit of black sand in here along with these fines. That's not too bad. Okay, and just so you know, what I've been doing is I've been taking uh, the mats home. I've been bringing the mats home after these shoots and letting them dry out and let you look at them. So let me show so you. So I just got them over here on the table. And this is the top. You can see the hole. This is mat number one. This is the top mat. And then this is the second mat over here. Uh, I mean, we've got a lot more testing. I was telling Mike I really wanted to, we really need to get this into a Raptor Flare. But let me just show you some of the gold in here, and I'm going to zoom in. I took some, uh, I took some photography with my phone, which is pretty cool. But look at the lead in there too, little lead shots. That's pretty cool, and that's the end of the mat right there. So this is the downside, this is the top, and then this is the front side. More lead, more lead right there. Lots of lots of bird shot in this stuff. Okay guys, so let me show you day two setup. Um, <laughs> it's gonna look a little weird, but number one, it's 29 degrees out here. So <laughs> we're doing this as quick as we can. This board is up here to reduce some of the light because I've got a camera I've got set up. I'm gonna run on the sluice. We're just doing a Raptor flare. And today in the upper section, we're running the worst sluice mat ever made. Aluminum. <laughs> we're doing nothing here. So this is just empty. And what we want to do is, remember, the wave mat is not a primary capture mat. The wave mat is a tailings mat to open up the slurry and to use a different process to capture gold. So what I'm going to do is, is I really just want to show you. Let me show you what we've got. We've got big wave mat, UR mat, big wave mat, mother load mat, and then big wave, big wave. And what you're going to see down here on the double big wave is you're going to see that it really doesn't work well. You really need the space in between. You'll see that it's too bumpy down here. It doesn't have a time to settle out. But again, big wave, you are big wave, mother load, big wave, big We're wave. Fire that up. So uh, every day when we do this, I always bring in gold. I forgot the gold. <laughs> so here's the mix. We've got everything we can throw at this machine today. Raw pay dirt. 
we found some old concentrate bags that we were selling or giving away. We cut them up, we put it inside of it. We've got black beach sands from Alaska, and we've got crushed ore from Georgia. Matter of fact, some of the stuff's from Tamiya, up at Chris and Gold Mine. We're just gonna run everything through it, but I want a thicker slurry viscosity. I want black sand, I want gems, I want all kinds of nasty stuff running over this mat today. So that's what we've done. I honestly have no idea how much gold is in here. I'm guessing maybe a couple grams, I don't know. But uh, again, just a stupid little setup using my Raptor Flare. Nothing in here, no mats up here. And then we're just gonna do this. Of course, this mat is designed to capture gold in your tailings. But today it's gonna, we're gonna just, like I said, we're gonna push it and see what happens. I want you to see with bare water what this mat looks like. That looks beautiful. So that's a UR, big wave, mother load, big wave, and double big wave. Now you can see what I mean here. There's not enough settling action in between. But again, we have not experimented with that before, because we just got in the cuttable mat. So uh, go ahead and throw some index. So I'm just gonna have them just throw some of this junk in here. see that if there's any rocks in here, the rocks don't engage, they just tumble on past. That's pretty cool right there. And I'm not sure if you can see it, there's a little bit of a difference between the UR and the mother load, but barely anything noticeable. and all the rocks, if there's anything larger than an eighth of an inch, basically, it's just rolling on by. I'm trying to find, I want you to watch for rocks as they go through here. And the rocks, again, there are no flow interruptions or ripples, so there's nothing for the rocks to get held up on. So you just sing on by, sing on by. bucket. Uh, this water obviously is not going to clear up because this is our huge pond, our kiddie pool. So go ahead and shut that pump off. So this should be interesting. Oh, I'm already seeing gold over here already seeing gold up in here so I'm gonna drain this water and see what happens all right so the main purpose of this what I wanted to show you today was how these mats play together and uh, I would say based on the fact that the way that we we're running it Mike what do you think I think you are and mother load both look good so again big wave mat you are big wave mat mother load big wave big wave same thing mother load looks really good mother load looks great with this mat so you know I'm almost a candidate to say if you only have two mat choices big wave and mother load is where I'd go because mother load is so good on super fine gold but that UR is looking good too so I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as pulling this and looking at the gold but maybe I'll clean each mat section maybe I'll clean down here and put it in a pan I don't know we'll see all right so we're coming along here we're playing we're just picking spots you know one of the best capture mats I think we have for low turbulence for fine gold is probably the mother load mat uh, I'm gonna do the UR here in a second too but uh, I'm gonna show you now remember we only have maybe 30 inches of matting so the water really hits it about here and it only has one two three four five mats to go over and then this is kind of weird down here how this happens 
So I, I expect to see gold because we were feeding a five gallon bucket in what, 60 seconds of nasty crap. So I expect because of incremental processing, if you don't know what incremental processing is, look it up on our website. Because of incremental processing, I expect that gold should move down here as we feed it heavy. So <clears throat> here is, here is the last mat. Tiny bit of fine gold in there. Here is here is the mother load mat. Here is the first mat. That's pretty cool. Again, I think by weight, I probably have probably 60% of my gold, I would say, in that first mat. But I do want to check the UR mat. Again, understand the concept of this mat. It's not about high capture. It's about spreading out the slurry and catching fines that cannot be caught by a turbulent riffle system. Understand that. Okay, so here's what we've got. Uh, mother load mats over here. First mats over here. And then this is the UR mat, and it's kind of what I expected. It's a bunch of fine gold. But I'll tell you what, uh, I almost like the way that the mother load mat, I almost like the way the mother load mat performed better with this. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. <laughs> so we're uh, all kind of in agreement here that we really like, we really like the mother load mat alternating with the big wave mat. It can take a little bit more uh, volume. Uh, we saw actually the mother load mat grab some bigger gold and finer gold further down. So our recommendation with this is probably gonna be mother load mat, big wave, mother load, big wave, mother load, big wave, runs great. Talk to you later, Doc. So anyways, guys, that was a good day testing, good two days testing on the wave mat. Again, that's the big wave mat. You need to make sure that you understand what mat goes where, that you're different things there's a whole section of the wave mat that we're putting up and putting up testing videos on the wave mat on the website um, make sure that you do click that subscribe button wherever it is subscribe button because we are going to be giving away some get doing some giveaways for our subscribers this year you got to be a subscriber to qualify for those giveaways so make sure you click the subscribe button and uh, lots of stuff going on this year so we'll talk to you later